Good evening and welcome to Captain Jim's College of Aeronautical Knowledge. Tonight the subject will be the standard rate turn as it relates to supersonic and transonic uh, flight. Uh, as we all know, a standard rate turn, commonly called a two-minute turn, is a uh, uh, maneuver primarily practiced for precision flying, but it used to be uh, of use uh, when we were doing holding patterns with an ADF or something of that sort. Uh, anyway, the theory is, and this works because I've done it, you enter into a standard rate turn as indicated on your turn and bank indicator and uh, punch your stopwatch and in exactly two minutes, uh, if you've kept the right altitude and the right angle, you will feel your own turbulence. In other words, you've made a full circle in exactly two minutes. I, once I learned this, uh, I thought to myself, uh, you know, sitting very bored in a uh, classroom uh, concerning transonic flight and its effects on the uh, airfoil, it seemed to me the uh, same should be true of a, uh, a standard rate turn because after all, the weight turbulence is nothing more than waves uh, left in the air which you come back around and catch up with. If you exceed the speed of sound, of course, you are going faster than the speed of sound, and you ought to, uh, it seemed to me, be able to catch up with exactly what you said. The pilot in the aircraft has really no indication that he's going faster than the speed of sound, but for his Mach meter. You don't hear a boom, you don't hear anything. The sound is behind you. So I took a T-38 out one day and entered into a standard rate turn uh, at about one point one or two, the T-38's not that fast. But anyway, it'll go above the speed of sound. Established a standard rate turn, punched my uh, stopwatch, uh, took off my mask, and yelled something like, sack pilots are weenies, put my mask back on, came around and expected to hear, two minutes later, my own voice, sack pilots are weenies. This, for some reason, did not work, and I uh, posed this question to the instructor uh, which uh, almost got me thrown out of pilot training, I think. Uh, later on, and I've kept thinking about this, and it's a perfectly good theory, I went uh, from Williams down to Davis Monkton <clears throat> to be a backseater in the F-4, commonly called a GIB, G-I-B, the guy in the back. Uh, I was flying with an old, ancient actually, major, palsied old fart. He was probably, I don't know, Christ, 35 or so. And we were coming back from the uh, Gila Bend range one day, and I thought about this. We had plenty of fuel and nothing to do, so I suggested to the ancient and palsied uh, major that we go out to the practice area and try this at an F-4, because it will certainly go faster than a T-38, and perhaps this would work. This was met with uh, actually stony silence and not a lot of enthusiasm, and he said to me, Lieutenant, just sit back there and don't touch any buttons. Uh, so I've never been able to try this, so I'm imploring my fellow pilots, the younger ones now, in the F-22 Raptor, which has a thrust vectoring system, they ought to be able to do this. Uh, so check back next week or send me an email uh, because we want to continue Captain Jim's College of Aeronautical Knowledge.